So right now it's May 29th, a little after 2 o'clock. We are in Gainesville, Florida, and we are leaving to drive to Tulsa, Oklahoma, where Armstrong Recording is, and that's uh, Stephen Edgerton Studio, where we are recording our new EP called States for Paper and Plastic. We just arrived here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, about 18 hour drive from Gainesville. It's about 92 degrees and it feels like about 99. Feels like we never left Florida. Oh, yeah. Sunday night, we're about to start recording tomorrow morning, Stefan Edgerton, and pretty stoked. Trailer's gone, fucking whoever took it got away with everything, all of our equipment, like $22,000, $23,000 worth of shit. It was parked within yeah. sight. We weren't asleep in it. So we have a van, so that is that's our, that's our fault. We're talking with the Tulsa cops who got here about I don't know, 45, 50 minutes after we called him twice. He's writing a list of equipment he's never heard of before. Uh, no bad. Mark is trying to explain to him what a quarter pounder base pickup is. We ended up getting this trailer a year ago when our other trailer broke so we still owe like over two thousand dollars on it so it just feels like you get a couple steps ahead and then get pulled like a mile back timing man well, well the protagonist curse man it follows us everywhere because we're from boca there's always this stigma that follows us that you know our parents are rich and buy us everything but the truth is since we were like 15 years old we've all worked worked our asses off at like mall retail jobs and coffee shops, bakeries, working, you know, to get everything, to get all our equipment. I mean, I lost everything from that to, in my, in my Tupperware box I have, I had uh, my grandfather's, or uh, my uh, great uncle's Marine Corps knife from 1942. So I lost stuff like that too, so it's kind of a shame, but. We haven't had that opportunity to just like curse and yell and punch things yet. Change it as a pin lock. So they, had, they took tools to it for sure. Yeah. And it would have been kind of a pain. I figured someone would have seen him because that trailer is heavy. Yeah. And they would have had to have cut it, lifted it, and pulled it back down here. And it, it was. Didn't have a wheel. It was on full. That. It was full. Did it have a wheel? No, on not a wheel. No. So there was at least there had to be two or three of them because they couldn't have lifted that. Oh yeah. Unless it was two really, really, yeah. really strong guys. I mean, the thing's hard to lift when it's you know. Heavy. Yeah, when there's nothing in it. It was a 6x12, 6x10. 5x10. 5x10. I wish I would have known that was going to be the last time I'd get to see my base. I didn't even get to say goodbye. Alright, so we're here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we're about to go to Guitar Center because now we have to pick up some stuff to uh, make up for the shit that was stolen uh, last night in our trailer. So um, it kind of sucks because all our shit's gone, but we're here in Tulsa. We, you know, we're here to record the new EP, so we're just going to fucking carry on. We're not going to kind of feel sorry for ourselves. We're just going to get the shit we need and we're going to head over to Stefan's and uh, get a little bit of a late start today. Probably start with drums. So, All right. Sure. Hello there. I'm Stefan Edgerton. And we're here in front of Armstrong Recording. Here, take a look at the neighborhood. See right over there? There's Ziegler's art supplies, framing. That's an AA place. Yeah, Best in music <laughs> place. There's There's good music in the neighborhood There's here. For the Denny's center. So anyway, I'm down here with the protagonist, and we um, we have been tracking some drums today. We've got some sounds. This is after the unfortunate uh, removal of their trailer by people unknown. So, but you know, there's plenty of gear here, so we're all set up. me fine I, I was just wondering really whether it was supposed to whether it was supposed to sort of slowly slow down or whether it was like it just kind of kept going or, or or well that is to say that that even if it establishes a different tempo when you know the band stops and then it's just the guitar even if that's even if that changes tempo but if it's mm -hmm. supposed to stay steady throughout the end of the song. You're saying right now we are cutting some drums we are uh, you know, we're like fixing little pieces. We, we played it good, and then we just got oh, this little thing right here. We could have maybe gotten a little better. Just fixing a couple little pieces, make sure it's cool, and then 
On to more drums. And beat Kyle up. Yeah, way better. Way better. Yeah, come on in. We just finished tracking five drums for five songs for the uh, new protagonist EP. I'm um, here with Stefan Edgerton, um, which is a dream to work with. Best, best uh, recording experience I've ever had. Um, here using Derek from Alpine Trio's old drum kit. There was a gift to Stefan. And sing was a dream. Stoked on it. Stoked on the songs. Feel good? Feel good on the songs? Feels great. What feels can great. people expect from the new uh, protagonist record? Um, faster, louder, harder. You know. Fuck yeah. And we did a bunch of songs on drums today. We're going to mess with those a little bit, see if we need anything else. I think we're probably good. And then we're on to the guitars and vocals and bass and all that fun stuff. So we will see you again soon.